In Greece, there was a land named Argos, and Acrisius was the king. Acrisius' daughter, Danae, was the most beautiful woman in the entire land. King Acrisius went to the oracle to see if he would ever have a son, because that's what he wanted most. Will I ever have a son? No! But your daughter's son will kill you! When King Acrisius heard this terrible news, he threw his daughter Danae into a giant bronze house where she lived for many years. Zeus came down to Danae in the bronze house. She had Perseus and she tried to conceal him from her father. But one day, King Acrisius went to visit his daughter and found the baby Perseus. In anger, King Acrisius locked Danae and Perseus into a giant chest and threw it into the ocean. Eventually, the chest washed up on a distant island. Then, a humble fisherman by the name of Dictus found the chest. Curiously, he carried it off to his home. After being taken care of by Dictus and his wife for many years, Perseus grew up into maturity. <coughs> Polydectes, Dictus' brother, had taken a fancy to Danae, Perseus' mother. Polydectes decides he's going to marry Danae, but unfortunately does not want Perseus as a son. Just as Polydectes had hoped, Perseus set out to find the perfect gift for his mother. The gift he would bring back was the head of the Gorgon, Medusa. While he was on his journey, Whoa! he met Herms, the god of guidance. Herms give Perseus a shield. A wallet that can fit anything in it. A magic sword that can pierce Medusa's scales. Oh. A cap that would make the wearer invisible. And some winged shoes. Suddenly, Perseus heard something behind him. <laughs> Medusa's eyes turned anyone to stone who looked at them. Because of this, Perseus had to use the reflection of his shield to look at her.
Using his winged shoes, Perseus flew back to the island where his mother was with Medusa's head in his backpack. Wow! Wow! That must be Perseus! <laughs>